Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Jeffrey and today I'm not going to be showing you a workflow or a system or really trying to teach you anything other than to hopefully make it feel more okay about how chaotic and messy your own external mind is, your own digital note-taking system. Because oftentimes I find that when you look at other people's systems on YouTube videos or on articles, you're seeing the best of the best. You're seeing a curated presentation of their knowledge system. And of course, they're going to show you things that look beautiful, things that look organized. But there's a lot of chaos that I suspect hides just beneath the surface. And so I wanted to go through in this video and show you just how messy, how chaotic, how unstructured a lot of my own system is. And then that way, hopefully, you can feel better about your own system rather than feeling like you're missing out on something because most of it is just chaos that we are trying to grasp, get a handle on so that we can take the knowledge and information that we bring in and turn it into something useful. So let's dive in and see just how messy my external mind is. So this is my homepage, the place where I kind of start and branch out from, and it looks pretty organized, right? I have a section for my writing inbox, my, my index. If I were to, to take a peek into each of those, my writing inbox are just ideas that I want to elaborate on pretty clean. The index is also all the different concepts or ideas that I want to be able to quickly reference or, or connect to. Again, this this looks pretty organized here, right? You might think that the entire system is this well laid out, but this is the structure that really enables the chaos. So if I were to look at my slip box, so this is where all the notes live, if I were to expand on this here, you can see, again, there's structure. Maybe if we go into my my coaching section. Okay, looks looks decent. There's structure, there's hierarchy, there's notes here. But if I were to go into something that's a little bit messier, let's say my personal knowledge management and go into my external mind, you can see that there is some structure here but then there's also just random notes and ideas that I've thrown in as I'm trying to expand upon the ideas that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to capture. And so it isn't all beautiful hierarchy, consistency. There's just layers and layers of chaos that get built in with these random ideas that I get that I just throw into the system so that I can stumble upon them later. If I try to make the system so process oriented that it just becomes like working on a factory floor, then there isn't the same level of joy of just diving in. And then if we were to take a look at, let's say, some of these notes here, this also hides a lot of the chaos. And another thing that if you're like me, you've had multiple different types of of systems over the, the course of your personal knowledge management development journey. And you have different notes that look different ways and trying to make them all look the same is just an exercise in futility when it isn't required. So some notes have just a couple uh, bullet points in them. Some notes, if I were to go to, let's say my system challenges here, you can see more messy thinking that, that exists with, with different links. You can see maybe this note has a bit more structure with, with references. And it's tempting, you know, as creating content for, for a YouTube channel about this, to only show you these types of notes that look nice, they're well laid out, they have different sections and headings, and everything seems to make sense. And it, it gives you this sense that everything is this way and everything has this kind of structure. But honestly, it 
it doesn't. These are the rare occurrences rather than the norm. And especially as you're developing your system, you'll end up with things that look vastly different. So even my personal knowledge management uh, section is probably the most developed, say, similar with my, my productivity section. Those are more developed sections. But if I were to go to something like content creation, it's just a bunch of, bunch of random notes. No, no structure here. These things are very different looking notes than the ones that, that I just showed you because I had transferred them over from my previous system and just kind of plugged them in to here. And when I want to go back and revisit them, then I'll come back and maybe tidy them up or expand upon them. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of mess. Some sections, you know, only have a couple items in them or some have, you know, lots of lots of things, but no real structure there as well. Different types of notes from, you know, when I was breaking things out into thinking notes or, or literature notes. It's just a chaos that is hidden behind this apparent structure. And I just wanted to, to kind of show this because, like I said at the beginning, there is such a sense that you need to have it all figured out. You need to have a system. You need to have a pipeline for your ideas. But really, all you need is some sort of loose structure that you can work with that can evolve and that can hide a lot of the messiness as you're going through it. So in these sections here, I'm able to hide the chaos behind a lot of these different pages so it doesn't feel too chaotic. So really that's all I wanted to showcase is that it's okay not to have it all together. It's okay if it doesn't look as perfect as what you see on YouTube videos or in articles because I can guarantee you that even for those people it isn't as well structured or defined as what they're presenting. They're showing you a curated subsection of their notes, you know, especially some of these more developed and and beautiful CSS with custom tags and, and workflows and queries and all that. It looks like a masterpiece, but that's not necessarily what you need or what their entire system looks like. So embrace the chaos a little bit. Feel okay with with not having everything figured out. Feel okay with not having everything even match across your system as you're first developing it. Just dive in and really have fun and figure out what works for you and develop your thinking for yourself. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If, like I said, it's a little bit different than what I have been doing before and really trying to, rather than giving you another workflow or a system to try and implement, really Focus on the mindset that you have when it comes to personal knowledge management so that you can feel more confident and comfortable that it's okay to have it be a disaster sometimes, to have it be messy, to have it be chaotic. So that's all for this video. Again, leave me a comment down in the uh, comment box below. Love to hear from you, and I will see you all next time.